All right. This is why I let some of the Bermuda grow around the trees out here and why I preferably want Bermuda to grow around the trees versus, uh, you know, just regular weeds. I let those grow too because the goats will eat them as long as they don't have like spines or anything like that then it's fine and that's one of the great things about the Bermuda grass is it does not have spines you could see they love it they absolutely love the Bermuda grass they'll go through it they'll pick through it eventually they'll eat it all they won't leave anything but to me, it's just a weed that grows around the trees. It's a good weed, beneficial. People feed this to their horses as hay. So it's definitely good for goats. The nutrition on this stuff is probably not that high right now just because we're November, mid-November and the Bermuda goes dormant over the winter so starts pulling all the nutrients from the actual grass and the shoots and it puts it into the rhizome because it's a perennial or perennial however you want to call it but anyway um, so definitely I prefer the Bermuda over, you know, kind of like the native grasses because since I'm, I am in the desert, um, native grasses tend to have a lot of thorns and a lot of, uh, you know, seeds that are thorny and that's not good because I like walking out here barefoot and nobody wants a goat head or any other kind of sticker in your foot. So that's one of the main reasons why I've been kind of putting Bermuda grass on all these small trees and all the large trees because it gets water from the trees and they don't take much water. I mean, they'll take it if they have it and they'll grow real vigorous. But as you can see, it's just been kind of growing. And once it's, uh, once it's kind of grown out of control and in my way, I pick it back and feed it to the goats. I guess it's just like borrowed. Hey, we got some geese. Oh, it's probably in the sun. Can't see them. But yeah, goats are happy. I'm happy. Life's good so far. They just chomp this stuff, no problem. But yeah, like I was getting back to what I was saying, um, eventually I'll put, put Bermuda grass on the um, at the base of all the trees, and the Bermuda grass grows so dense it won't allow any of the native weeds to grow through. And it's good for the kids and stuff if they come out here. You know, there'll be nice soft grass. It looks nice too. I mean, it doesn't look great when it's all overgrown and weedy, but you know, it's better than thorns and you know bushes and tumbleweeds. And uh, the goats won't, they will eat them, but they don't quite as enjoy it as they do this stuff. I mean, goats will eat almost anything as long as it's not toxic and, uh, you know, if they get hungry, they'll, they'll eat almost anything. They'll even eat toxic stuff, which you got to be real careful about that. These guys don't go hungry, though. Very rarely do I um, kind of force them to eat some some of the weeds down because you know they they're they got to do some work too they got to do some weed control and uh hey lucy hey lucy girl they gotta they gotta pay rent you know <laughs> so i won't give them alfalfa until the afternoon and throughout the day they they you know they're out here bleeding telling me hey we're starving we haven't eaten three hours and they're out here browsing on all the weeds and stuff and 
they're they're not too happy because they prefer alfalfa. But they do fine. You could definitely tell these goats are not underfed. They're probably too fat to be honest with you. But it's okay. I don't really mind them being really fat because they're gonna kid here pretty soon. But I do also have to watch them. They get too fat. It could cause complications when they do kid. But let's hope everything goes well and they're just the milk the milk starts uh it's gonna be f high fat concentration in the first few weeks just because that's just the way it goes and the kids will get nice and fat and plump and give them a better chance at life that's the idea here have them you know nice and fat and healthy and uh we get the kids you know a really good start and once they do kid, we're gonna have to give them a really nice and high, ooh, uh, nice and high um, calcium diet, nice high calcium diet. Because that's one of the main things they need. They need calcium and protein and carbohydrates when they're in milk. That's to produce that milk and get high quality milk. High fat, high protein milk is what you want out of these gives the kids a better chance at life and um, produces a better quality milk if you're you know if you're taking milk and you're milking the goats but anyway that's enough of me rambling and uh, I'll see you next time